Sure. What I just talked about in this last session was the art of cross-examination. So we're going over the high points of what real lawyers do and what students do in mock trial to conduct a, an effective cross-examination. And this fits into the overall five sessions that I work with the students. And the five sessions include opening statements, closing arguments, uh, direct examination, cross-examination, and objections, which are really the five major parts of a trial. It's the five major parts that I cover in my law school courses with law school students. So it's, it's just helping them prepare for life because they're doing new things and they're being courageous and they're trying things in a, in a mock trial courtroom, speaking a different language, the language of the law. And then as I mentioned, they are, they're honing and sharpening their critical thinking skills. And that is ubiquitous. That is going to help them whether they become lawyers and go to law school or whatever they go into. One of the two things that I'd like them to take away is that to make mistakes in their life, be willing to make mistakes. I certainly made lots of mistakes in, in my tr trial career and when I was in law school, and I don't want them to become paralyzed by being, uh, being afraid to do that. And then the second thing, of course, that I want them to take away is just a general understanding of how trials work and how the legal system works. You know, it's not as important that if they walk out of this program knowing the nuances of hearsay objections, but what is important is that they understand how our justice system and how our legal system works and what the major parts of a trial are. That's fantastic. I love working with these students. I mean, this is one of the highlights of my year when I get to come to NSLC and teach. And I've been coming to NSLC now for 20 years, and they're just a joy to work with. They're so hardworking. It's just a wonderful program. It's been around for a long time, and I encourage students, anytime that I run into them during the school year, I encourage them to come to these programs. They're great.